and talk about Spino. Which is what I'm going to do the exact opposite of. Hey guys, how's everybody doing? This is Utah Raptor 1987 here, and welcome back to another episode of The Extinction Files. In this episode, we will be discussing one of the largest and most mysterious theropod dinosaurs, the Spinosaurus. So, without further ado, let us begin. Spinosaurus was a spinosaurid theropod dinosaur that lived during the late Cretaceous period in what is now northern Africa, from 99 million years ago until 93.5 million years ago. The first fossils of Spinosaurus were discovered in 1912 in the Bahariya Formation in Egypt by paleontologists Richard Marcraff and Ernst Stromer. Then, in 1915, Stromer named the animal Spinosaurus aegypticus, which means Egyptian spined lizard. Unfortunately, the specimen that Stromer and Marcroft discovered was destroyed after the British did a bombing raid in Munich, Germany in 1944 during World War II. After World War II, several other Spinosaurus specimens were discovered, However, they're all extremely fragmentary. And over the years, there have been many interpretations and reconstructions of Spinosaurus that all range from it looking like a megalosaur with a sail on its back, to a crocodile-snouted T-Rex killer, to a semi-aquatic quadruped, to even... Okay, I'm not gonna touch on that one because that one's just too weird. So far, this is the most accurate iteration of Spinosaurus, which is based on our current understanding of the animal. However, that's all likely to change in the next few years from now, as more discoveries are being made. It's estimated that Spinosaurus was about 46 feet long and weighed around 6.5 to 8 tons. A common misconception that many people have about Spinosaurus was that it was the largest known theropod dinosaur, and it was even bigger than T. rex. Now, before any of you get mad at me in the comments telling me that I'm wrong, let me explain. Although it is true that Spinosaurus is longer than a T. rex, scientists actually use weight to determine size. And while Spinosaurus weighed 6.5 to 8 tons, T. rex weighed 9.8 tons with some of the largest specimens potentially reaching 11 tons. So technically, Tyrannosaurus rex is the largest known theropod dinosaur so far. Spinosaurus was a member of the Spinosauridae family, which also includes other dinosaurs such as Baryonyx and Suchomimus. What sets them apart from other theropod dinosaurs was that they had long, crocodile-like snouts, which were perfectly adapted for catching fish and other aquatic animals. Spinosaurus also had tiny pits in its snout called pressure receptors, which would have helped them detect movement in the water. These pressure receptors are also seen in modern-day crocodilians. Spinosaurus and its relatives possessed massive claws on their hands, which were also used to catch fish. The most distinguishing characteristic of Spinosaurus was the large sail on its back, which was made up of elongated neural spines. There's been some debate on what exactly the sail was used for. Some scientists argue that it was used for thermoregulation, while others suggest that it was most likely used for display, either for attracting mates or intimidating rivals. There's also been some debate if the spine formed either a thin sail or a thick fleshy hump. In 2020, it was revealed that Spinosaurus had elongated neural spines on the caudal vertebrae, which indicate that it had more of a paddle-like tail, similar to that of a newt, and some scientists suggest that Spinosaurus used its tail to propel it through the water. However, that's sort of up for a debate which we'll get into a little bit more in depth later in the video. So far, the only valid species within the Spinosaurus genus 
is Spinosaurus aegypticus. However, there are some scientists that believe that the specimens from Morocco represent a new species of Spinosaurus called Spinosaurus moroccanus, which means Moroccan spined lizard. However, there's not a lot of evidence to support this idea. Some scientists also believe that some Spinosaurids might represent new species of Spinosaurus, those being Sigilmasasaurus and Oxalia, both of which are only known from extremely fragmentary remains. So we're not exactly sure if they represent new species within the Spinosaurus genus or their own separate genera. There's been a lot of debate in more recent years of whether or not Spinosaurus was capable of swimming. Some scientists argue that Spinosaurus was more than capable of swimming and diving underwater, due to its dense bones and paddle-like tail. However, some more recent studies suggest that Spinosaurus was a slow-moving and unstable swimmer, and instead of diving underwater to catch its prey, it would have stood from the water's edge and waited for the perfect moment to strike, similar to a heron or a grizzly bear. Fossils of Spinosaurus have been found throughout North Africa, more specifically in the Baharia Formation in Egypt, the Kemkem Beds in Morocco, the Chinini Formation in Tunisia, and the Etchkar Formation in Niger. Back when Spinosaurus was still around, Egypt was very different from today. It was a very humid environment filled with tidal flats and mangrove forests. Spinosaurus shared its environment with lots of other prehistoric creatures. There were the cartilaginous fish, Bahariprestis, Cretodus, Cretolamna, Hymerichia, Onchopristis, Tychotrigon, Schizoriza, and Squalacorax. There were the bony fish, Bawidius, Masonia, Paranogmius, and Ratodus. There was the turtle, Aperto temporalis. There were the crocodiliforms, Aegyptosuchus, Libicosuchus, and Stomatosuchus. There were the sauropod dinosaurs, Aegyptosaurus and Paralatitan. And then there were the theropod dinosaurs, Bahariasaurus and Carcharodonosaurus. Although it's not as popular as Tyrannosaurus rex, Spinosaurus has made several appearances in pop culture. During the 80s and 90s, Spinosaurus was featured in several books, video games, and toy lines. But it wasn't until 2001 when Spinosaurus made its appearance on the big screen, in its most infamous role in Jurassic Park 3, where it served as the main antagonist for the film. The Spinosaurus's design in this film is definitely outdated. The legs are too long, the torso's too short, the tail should be more paddle-like, the sail's the wrong shape, and the wrists are pronated. However, that wasn't known until long after this film came out. So, I won't give it too much flack for that. Since we're still talking about Jurassic Park 3, I think I might as well address the elephant in the room. What made the Spinosaurus from JP3 so infamous? Ever since Jurassic Park 3 came out, there have been many online arguments about who would win in a fight, T-Rex, or Spinosaurus. First of all, you have to understand that T-Rex and Spinosaurus never coexisted because they lived millions of years apart from one another and lived on separate continents. But what if the two did hypothetically live alongside each other? Would they fight? The answer is no. No, they wouldn't. At least not often because they both would have filled different ecological niches. The Spinosaurus would have hunted aquatic animals, while the T-Rex would have hunted terrestrial animals. So there wouldn't be much of a reason for them to fight. 
But what would happen if resources became scarce for them, or if some psychopath decided to force these animals to fight each other in a confined area against their will for profit, who would be the winner? While the Spinosaurus is longer and can use its sail to intimidate the T-Rex, as well as use its claws to inflict serious damage, T-Rex was bulkier and heavier than Spinosaurus, and had a stronger bite force. If the T-Rex clamped its jaws on the Spino's neck or sail, it could fatally injure the Spinosaurus. So in my opinion, the winner of this fight is most likely going to be Tyrannosaurus Rex. After Jurassic Park 3 came out, Spinosaurus gained a lot more popularity during the early 2000s and the early 2010s, as it was featured in several movies, documentaries, video games, and TV series. These include Dinosaur King, Primeval, Monsters Resurrected, Dino Dan, Planet Dinosaur, The Land Before Time 12, Carnivores 2, Jurassic the Hunted, and Primal Carnage. And they all have more or less the same outdated design, where they pretty much just look like a baryonyx with a dimetrodon sail glued on its back. It wasn't until 2014 when Spinosaurus changed its appearance in the PBS documentary Bigger Than T-Rex, where it was revealed that Spinosaurus had much shorter hind legs than previously thought. Unfortunately, this documentary is now considered outdated, with the biggest inaccuracy being the Spinosaurus depicted as a quadruped, when later studies have shown that the Spinosaurus's center of mass would have been closer to its hips, which indicates that Spinosaurus was more than capable of bipedal locomotion despite having short, stubby legs. And then in 2023, Spinosaurus was added into the video game Prehistoric Kingdom, and its design looks absolutely amazing, and it is by far the best depiction of Spinosaurus in paleomedia in terms of scientific accuracy. So in conclusion, Spinosaurus was a large, strange, and mysterious theropod dinosaur. It went through many different iterations ever since it was discovered. It had a large sail on its back that it used for either thermoregulation or for display. It primarily hunted fish, but probably wasn't the greatest at swimming. And it may not be as popular or as massive as T. rex, it was still a very iconic and fearsome predatory dinosaur. Well, everybody, that about wraps up this episode of The Extinction Files. So, what extinct animal should I talk about next? Please let me know in the comments down below. But before we end the video, let's pick which creature we'll be discussing in the next episode. All right, Carnotaurus. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.